Hey there, Internet. Keith here, and welcome to the Cars of Keith YouTube channel. And something weird is going on here. Heidi is white again. Well, except for a little bit at the bottom and the door handles. I haven't peeled the wrap off yet, but she is getting wrapped a different color. But for now, she's mostly in white, and we're in the driveway, which means we have a foam can review, and it's been a while. Nothing really innovative has come out, except for now. And why are we outside again? Obviously, the floor in the garage is not done yet. The drain has not been put in yet. So any kind of big spray job with a lot of water, I can't quite do in there yet. We are here to review the Wizards Foam Cannon. Now, it's been a while since an innovative product has come out that's worthy of me testing again. I don't know how well it's going to work. I have not sprayed it yet. I've done a lot of the nerdy number stuff already. Uh, it comes in at about 19 and a half ounces in weight. Puts it about middle of the pack. Uh, it does leak pretty bad. When you turn it, it just... It just leaks water. It, it's not great. But overall, the bottle is about the same as the McKillens. Nice and ergonomic, great place to put your, your hand right here to hold it. The manifold is just like Chemical Guys. It's really tall, it's the exact same casting. It does have a nice uh, quarter inch quick disconnect here with the O-ring that allows you to hand tight so it doesn't leak there. Uh, the knob on top is real. It's the way I like it. It's exactly what I would want on mine. Exactly what I have on the Franken foamer. But it has that nobody else really has, except for I think there's one in Australia called the Big Boy. Uh, but it has these different spray patterns, like a normal garden hose sprayer would have. And you just click. Uh, it's oddly satisfying. But you have your different. I have H fan, Jet, Cone, V fan, Down. We're gonna see how they work. Hopefully there's one that's this way and hopefully it's not like the Gardner sprayer. Uh, the plastics are really nice. The materials are nice. Overall, it's like a middle of the pack score for most everything there. It gets a lot of innovation for this, even if it doesn't work. Just trying to innovate something, maybe somebody else can improve on it if it doesn't work out very well. We have our normal 10 to one dilution ratio of G-Technic W4 citrus foam. Now this only holds about 980 milliliters, not exactly quite a thousand. Now, these are like welding cleaners, carburetor cleaners. This is a 1.25, I bought a 1.1 as well, but in a kit, I'll leave a link below. But as you can see, the 1.25 does not make it all the way through, so we know it's the 1.1 that it came with. So for those of you that love the analytics and the nerdy numbers, that'll be coming up later. So before we get into foaming, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Use any of the links below to help support the channel. The Amazon link for this will be there. It was like $62, uh, but there was only one or two left. But it's on the Wizards site for like $79.99, and they have it if you sign up. You get free shipping on your first order. But the bottle they had on the Amazon listing was different than this. It was actually a bottle I was really looking forward to. It was clear. So that may have been like a version one. It shows this came, in, came out at about November or so. Uh, uh, so it's maybe a different iteration. Big thanks to Joe for bringing this to my attention. He saw it uh, and then I was able to find it and pick it up. I uh, really appreciate that. Subscribers always giving suggestions. It really helps the channel out. Let's get right into the foaming. Now the sun is slightly out. It is kind of like, kind of behind the clouds. Uh, normally I would not do this in the sun and I say this all the time, but this is the only time I have to do this. I am using deionized water through my DIW 20 CR spotless. So if it does dry on, it's not that big of a deal. We'll get it rinsed off really quick, but we're just gonna try the different foamings. So this is what it's called down. And since we're on the 1.1, we're using this with my Ryobi 1700, which is like your normal 1.1, 1.2 gallon per minute machine uh, for the 1.1. We'll change it to a 1.25 and we'll try it with the active as well. see that downward motion creates a lot of mist. The mist is all over the windows. You see the wind is picking up now, but uh, it's blowing that mist all over the place and it is rather runny for a uh, foam cannon with a 1.1. This is called H fan. It's literally the exact same thing except like slightly different. It's just shooting straight out rather than down. This is jet. Obviously, this is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it coats pretty well. It's not really thick, though. All right, let's try cone. I mean, I get it, uh, comb, but it doesn't cover very well, especially slightly windy like this. It's blowing the mist all over the place. 
This is V fan, so I'm thinking this is vertical. That's much better and that's what I would use, but uh, it just does a V fan, but it's also just shooting strings of foam all over the place. As you can see, they shoot the foam that way and that way. And it's very thin. Freaking mist. It's misting suds right onto my freaking <sighs> camera here. Yeah, it's just, it's not foaming well. I, I understand the concept. I just don't know if it's working out real well. <laughs> Now the down actually works out pretty decent from the top if you're hitting the hood, the roof, the windshield, the rear windshield, and the top of the trunk. Works pretty good, but still the foam just is not there. Now this is the thickest it can foam, that's with the jet stream. I mean that's that's not bad foam right there. Uh, it does well off pretty good. This is the odd one, this is the cone. When it's not windy, it's not bad. But you see the thickness is just really isn't there. Uh, it is, you know, it's foamy. Here's like I said, down. Works pretty good when you're, you know, working the hood or the top of the car because it's focusing down instead of across. Actually not bad on the side of the car either, but you can see not that thick. Here is V-Van, the sides. You can see, you know, we're losing soap everywhere. It's getting shot all over the place. So there's one really cool thing about this. You can turn the knob all the way to the left, all the way to the right is max foam, all the way to the left is basically no foam. You can use these spray patterns like a normal uh, water hose to get your rinse, so you don't have to change to rinse. Let's try cone. Not really that great. It's really not rinsing off that good. It's a good idea. Not executed very well. Now when we change to the 1.25 and run it with the active, we're gonna get more flow, so maybe it'll work a little bit better. We'll see. Yeah, I tried. It's just not enough. Well, so much for the 1.25 with the active. It is overloading the amperage because it's just dialing back, I think, too much of the flow. It's restricting it too much with this head right here. Uh, it's pushing between 15.3 and 16.2 amps. I have a 20 amp circuit, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's an 1800 watt motor that's 15 amps. You don't want to overload it. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit just so you can see. So here's down, it is thicker. That's for sure. Here's that cone. That's, that's more like it right there. This is V fan. Much thicker and I don't have as much stray spraying as I did before. Now here's the jet. See, that's more of what we're wanting. That's the thickness level that we're looking for, but it's inconsistent due to that jet spray and not having a pattern. Here is the cone on the windows. I mean, this is a bad. But on the 1.25, it's it's pushing my VE52 to the limits, and I don't want to blow it up. 
Is this what we're getting on jet? Seven six. That's cone. And that's cone at 15.8. Just not good. I didn't want to leave you a video without any good foam. So this is the Franken Foamer 9000. I'm running a 10 to 1 dilution ratio without the auto mix. It's basically an MJJC Pro version 2 with a few things from the Griots Boss Foam Cannon like the cap. But performance wise it's the same as the MJJC Pro version 2. Just a different bottle. Now that's what I'm talking about right now. Just effortless foam. And it sheets off in huge sections because it's so thick. As you can see, it's just strolling down these large, large amounts, pulling down much more dirt because it's a thicker, heavier film as it moves down, has a better chance of moving stuff. Well, that didn't work out quite as well as we expected, did we? I really had some high hopes. Uh, it was something different, innovative. I was hoping it was gonna work out. The foam just is not there. It's restricting the pressure washer a good bit, uh, especially on the active. It was pushing it well over 15 amps, close to 16 amps. It was close to 15 on the uh, Greenworks with the 1.1. Uh, I just think it's being really restrictive here, and I think that's why it's not getting the foam that it should be getting. These spray patterns are meant for a garden hose. They're not meant for a pressure washer. So in foam, 5.5. I think I'm actually being quite nice with that. Uh, bottle, 7.5. Really nice bottle. Ergonomics, pretty much online with the McKillens. You got function at 6.1. In nozzle, it got a bad low score on function because it's not really functionable. Uh, you got cost at 3 because it is about 80 bucks. Quality, they got an 8.1 because the materials and the quality, it's it's there. Even the this plastic right here feels really good. It's not cheapy. Got a 7.2 in innovation. They really could have killed it here, but the innovation was there, but it just doesn't work. Uh, innovation is good, but if it doesn't work, it's not a 10, right? Uh, they did get a slightly higher score than most do in the nozzle category for innovation, but just not the high, high score. Right after this, I'll show you detailed screenshots of the numbers for each of those categories that you can see them, play them a little bit on music. Then right after that, we'll get to the bloopers. So don't forget to check out the links below to any of my sponsors, my Assess Garage affiliate link, uh, Amazon links to this and other products as well. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Until now. Oh my god, the sun. It's cloudy all day. Um, settings. That's mm. much. Uh, like I said, there's eight grit. If you want to look through them, my wife's leaving with Helen. I gotta wait for that. Right after this, I'll show you the. Here comes the sun again.